reading, quote, The object appears to have some sort of energy shield or weapon that destroys the chemtrail around it, end of quote. Reading, quote, the object then accelerates and flies west, end of quote. Okay, so continuing from part three. Um, and before you write this off as some form of swamp gas or a UFO, and remember you Nibiru people out there too, I've done a lot. I used to be in the Nibiru camp until I finally realized that these things can really do a good Nibiru. And what you want to do is before you upload a picture of your Nibiru, you want to try to capture it two days in a row in the same exact place because that's what I found I could never do. And if you look closer, you can see the hexagonal shape or uh, that I'm talking about of these things. If you look southward from most places in the northern hemisphere around dusk since late August, you will have seen the space alien starship hovering over us, placed there by our space reptilian overlords. The naysayers, scoffers, and sane people want us to believe that it is the planet Jupiter. But I know all of my YouTube channel subscribers are way too smart to be fooled by critical thinkers who know what they're talking about. After all, the thing eats chemtrails. And if that obvious fact doesn't convince you, why, nothing will. Worse yet, the alien spaceship is getting closer to our holographic sun as the weeks progress. And the good Lord Jesus only knows what they plan on doing to the hologram once they get there. As for the people who insist it is the mysterious and destructive planet Nibiru, well, that's just crazy. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. 